Hey guys, what's up? It is Rev. So, uh, it's been a long time since I've, uh, decided that I would come on something and, uh, say something. But, uh, I was talking to Shani and she said that she thought, you know, to see fit. Is this a light? Let me see. Auto. Okay. I got a new phone. Uh, it's an Obama phone, and I'm really happy, and I, I praise God for a, a government program that, that helped me. But it's kind of a private, it's it's called SafeLink or something, and you can get a phone for, for free, and it actually works, the SafeLink thing. That's amazing, isn't it? But, it, man, it's been a massive help to have it. But anyway, I digress. So I was talking to Shani, and... Um, you know, a lot of you really wonderful, kind, actual, authentically nice people, which do exist, have helped us out recently when we needed some stuff when, uh, you know, the EBT went out this month in the middle of the month and it was bad, man. We were, I was literally begging uh, in, in you know, pizza shops and, uh, and the convenient, the convenient that I'm near is absolutely amazing. And they're like, it just come here every night at seven o'clock and then we'll give you food. And it's not just like one day of food. It's a massive amount of pizza. And they're like, no way you should have this. If you, cause I literally, I'd never done that in my life. I never had to do that in my life that I, I walked into the convenient mart and I went, you know, can you help me feed my, my wife? Like that's insane. Right. Pray for me. You know, I need prayer, but, uh, I love Jesus, you know, and I want things to go better. So, so just pray for me. But, um, I was talking to Shani and she said with these nice people, they deserve some, you know, an update on me and, and what's going on. She said, I really don't want to go on camera myself though, because I feel so sick and weak and, and, and she does. I mean, she looks kind of rough sometimes because she is going through levels of pain that I, it would kill most people like myself included. Um, so, but she said there has been pleasant, actual nice people that have, have helped us and we, we owe it to them. And I agree. That's why I agreed to do the video. I didn't want to do this video. <laughs> I was straight up, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't want to do this video because I never really wanted to do a video anywhere ever again um, with with the, the way everything has gone in the past uh, five years, um, the abuse. So, but I agree with her that the people that are real and, and do actually care about us and care about the boys and stuff, um, that you deserve an update. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, it's only three minutes in, like I, I can talk pretty good now. It's like, I want to get, Hey, does a radio station need someone to, you know, take over a, 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 G, a DJ job or something, man, I could roll discs for you and play nineties, uh, goth and, and punk music and not punk and goth. What the hell is wrong with me? I was more into stained and, and tool. So like progressive metal, uh, progressive metal, uh, uh, you know, like, like typo negative, like, like doom metal, uh, nine inch naily industrial stuff and, and sprinkle in some like, uh, Juno reactor techno awesomeness. And I could DJ that shit and put on sunglasses and a cowboy hat and be the reverend dude and spinning that stuff, you know, like metal and techno, Rob zombie, stuff like that. Call me, you know, or message me here, whatever message Shani's account. You know, I would like that. But anyway, what I can tell you is that her pain levels have done nothing but go that way, way up. Okay, that's been the road that she's been on for the past uh, since she's left. Um, and, and, and we know from the doctor's prognosis that this is just accurate to what the doctors were saying were going to happen. That, you know, they they looked at her and basically said, look, your future ain't, we're not going to lie to you that your future is filled with surgeries and pain. Uh, you're going to be getting knee replacements at some point, probably around 50 something, something like that. I don't know. It may probably a lot sooner now because the wear and tear on the knee has gotten 
really bad, not good. Okay, like I, I see firsthand because I, I try to comfort her, you know, to, I like rub her down and stuff, you know, I rub her legs and I can feel like the, it's not right. Like the knee, she, both of her knees are messed up and you can tell by just looking at them. But if you really study it like I have in terms of feeling it, it's like, you. this is like defunct, you have a dysfunctional knee, like it's clear. So... And she had an accident around, I, I we were just talking about this today, around the age of like 17 or like 19, uh, white water rafting or whatever down in Colorado, because she was a daredevil. And, and, and it was 18, I think. Yeah. And uh, she just, she wiped out or whatever and, and messed up really bad her knee and didn't get it treated correctly. And then that could, because one of the causes... One of the, the, the causes of uh, uh, osteoarthritis is, is trauma, which I had no I had no idea that that was the case. That's some science that I you know I didn't have a clue. Uh, so that put her into this like uh, not being able to be physical anymore mode for a long time, and that led to the osteoarthritis. That's the way it works, I guess. It's a trauma. And then I don't know if you get it treated. She, I don't think she got it treated correctly in the beginning. And, and that probably was the reason why I progressed into an osteoarthritis thing. But we, we don't know that. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. So what the hell does it matter really how it got there? The, the fact is, is that you, you can, I can just look at her and feel her and, and rub her and understand that, oh, okay, you're probably in a flare up right now. Cause it's like, it's so like, it gets very tense and, and like, I could just tell, you know, and luckily I, I have a certain touch to me that I'm able to do and it's, you know, at least soothing somewhat, but, um, you can clearly just, you know, that she's sick, like it's clear and, and it's progressively, and this is what the doctor said. So it's not surprising. It's progressively getting worse. So the, the update mainly in terms of that is her pain levels. This is the main issue and what we'll be discussing with the doctor tomorrow because we're in contact now with the doctor as much as we can be uh, for, for medication updates and stuff like that. So what's coming is I don't know if there – she's going to have to get some x-rays, like MRI probably – x-rays to see the progression of how bad because what a main part of this you need to know and watermelon's going to eat foods hey watermelon yeah she's eating food okay one of the main elements of this that i really forgot to mention was that she has progressive osteoarthritis in her spine as well okay this is not Oh, it's not that big of a deal type of thing. No, I'm running out of battery. I can't believe this. Uh, it's not that type of deal at all, okay? What she's dealing with is severe progressive illness, okay? This isn't a joke. And they they made it clear that your your future, like I said, it's not bright because of all these surgeries and stuff. Like three major surgeries, two knee replacements, two hip replacements. Now, what do you do with the spine? Because her back has been starting to, I, I don't even know, I, I don't know if the spasming was involved, but that's when you're at a really bad spot. But uh, she knows that the osteo is getting worse in her back. She can feel it every day, flaring, getting worse. So... I mean, like, I, I'm not going to shine a turd. Like, it's not good. Uh, there's no shining a turd when you look at it. So I asked for prayer from Christians. And, and, and I wanted to bless you guys with what I can bless you with right now, which would be a video. And that's cool. And to the, all the haters, even. It's like, we, we are just like, peace to you. You want to hate, that's cool at this point. It's like the Revelation 22 says to let the wicked be wicked, and they're going to do it anyway. And, and I'm not just, I'm not calling you wicked even. It's not that. It's just that your deeds are hurtful. A lot of your deeds are hurtful. 
So the Bible tells me to just let you do that because it's meant to be one of, it's a part of this, the world. Because you can't appreciate the darkness. You can't, you can't appreciate the light without the darkness, which is like a very Masonic principle and <laughs> esoteric. But we're, Shani and I have been talking about that type of stuff a lot lately. And, uh, you know, we've been looking into this actual official, you know, UFO stuff that, that is not, it is not your yesterday's UFO stuff, folks, at all. Okay. They, they're really getting into science of it and coming down to like, wow, maybe we could have electromagnetic craft. What? Yeah, electromagnetically powered craft that you don't need a propulsion system. You're using it. It's incredible stuff. Like, and it could be the secret to anti gravity. You you just you, you use the planet, and it, because as far as we know, electromagnetism is an extremely important, intricate uh, part of how all this works, which we're trying to understand but i think a lot of stuff is being left out and not fully understood yet which is fine and science will keep doing what it does and it's going to reveal more and more and more of the, all these processes that makes me be able to ha have a conscious mind to to pull up a, a video uh to pull up a camera on a camera phone which is like a tricorder communicator combination star trek stuff um, it's, it's literally like Roddenberry technology I'm using right now, which is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi plus a net wireless network of 5G power, which is absolutely insane. Like, think about this stuff. It's insane. It's like, that is, we're, we're there. We're in that science fiction time and it's 2023. It's going to be 2024 soon. And then 2025. And it's like, there's a lot of, oh my God. A lot of 2025 people out there, too. There's always milestones for prophecy stuff, but Israel's gone nuts. Anyway, so you want you want an update fully on Shani. We're, we're doing our best. I'm doing my best. I, I am doing my best to find some kind of situation where I can get my car fixed. I'm, I got my, my uh, I, I have stuff. I have personal appointments coming up that are extremely important, and I, I ask for prayer on that. I don't want to get into any specifics about any of that. I just want to tell you that I'm very close to having that meeting. And could you pray for me on that? And um, we're just continuing to to try and rehabilitate our lives into a situation where uh, I can get out of where I'm at because we're um, personal reasons I'm not going to talk about. We, we want to move on. We want to be able to have a little bit of income for ourselves to perhaps get into some emergency housing because I would have income. Uh, and, and this situation, that's what we're trying to do. Um, and we're doing our best with food in terms of, of, of having to get food and stuff with, without a ride and stuff that can be difficult. Um, and I don't want to be a constant burden on people in my life that, that are caring. I do not want to be a constant burden on anyone. So we're continuing to try and rehabilitate ourselves into a living situation again where everything is stable and we have a certain amount of money coming in that that we can start living normal lives again but currently we're still in the recovery phase and i'm praying for these things that to come together where i can just start living a normal existence once again uh shani loves you you know to the haters, you know, it's, we let it go, man. You got to let stuff go. Now, does that mean that you, you, you're allowed to come in our emails and blast us with the lies and the crap and the stuff abuse? No, you're blocked and we won't talk to you, okay? But uh, for the most part, we just let stuff go. We went through a lot of really stupid stuff and getting in trouble with law enforcement for no reason, all kinds of stupid shit. But we let it go, and uh, we forgive you. Really, we we got no ill intention for you. So I I hope this comes to you uh, with a blessing that you can kick someone in the ribs like fifty billion times, and they have really sore ribs, but they'll go, you know what? That person was just kind of angry that day, and I'm gonna forgive them. So you're forgiven.
Amen. Love you all.